Welcome back to Review With You, and today we're going to be talking about a character who is uber powerful, one of the strongest elder gods in the Marvel Universe. And for the sake of this video, we will just go ahead and pronounce the name Chthon. So billions of years ago, shortly after the formation of the Earth, the Demiurge was seeding the young planet with his essence, creating a race of elder gods. The foremost of which were Chthon and his siblings Set, Gaia, and Oster. The elder gods proliferated across the planet and ruled it for millions of years. Chthon spent his time studying the mystical forces of the universe and eventually became the Earth's first black magician. But over time, at least one billion years ago, the elder gods degenerated and started turning into demons, warring with one another and struggling for power and influence. Gaia, due to probably her nature, had not been corrupted and feared for the safety of the new life that was brewing within the Earth's oceans. She went to the Demiurge and asked it to conceive in her a means in which to banish the demons. She entered the depths of the Earth and gave birth to Atum, the first race of new gods. Atum went around the Earth slaying the demons and absorbing their own energies. Atum then took on a monstrous appearance and became the Demogorge, the God Eater. Chthon managed to escape the God Eater by creating another dimension called the Flickering Realms, also known as Kale or Other Realm. Along with his brother Set's serpent C, the Flickering Realms were the first two inner planes and they were dimensions located in close vicinity of the Earth. However, before he left, in the Dark Hold, not the Dark Hold, but the D-A-R-Q-U-E Hold, it's basically a chamber among the caverns inside the mountain that would be known as Mount Wundagore. Chthon wrote the Dark Hold, inscribing all his arcane knowledge onto scrolls made from the indestructible parchment and left them behind to serve as a physical link between Earth and his new home should he ever choose to return. It was, however, theorized by the Logomancer that the Dark Hold, the book, was originated from etchings carved on the walls of the city of Raleia by ancient and hideous things called the Old Great Ones, among which Chthon was allegedly the greatest, despite being unusually recognized as an elder god. Once he was trapped in this dimension, Chthon went into slumber, intending one day to return. He granted powers to the Darkhold's users who forfeited their souls in return. Chthon led a faction of evil gods in a war against another group, and Chthon's side was soundly defeated and banished from the earth and to the other realm by their opponents. The Darkhold was not a book that was placed together by Chthon, but rather it was created by humans that found the scrolls and other writings that were left behind by him and eventually bound them all together in a single volume, therefore called the Darkhold. Even though Chthon was removed and trapped in this dimension, his new dimension was also close enough to continue influencing the Earth. A pact was struck between the surviving elder gods, Chthon, Set, Gaia, and the returning Oster, so that each would occupy their own realms and not directly interfere with each other's territory. Earth, however, was the realm of Gaia, and so Chthon was banned from ever returning there or else face the wrath of the Demogorge. Still, though, he found ways to intervene indirectly through the demon races he created, which were not bound by his oath, as well as having the dark hold on Earth. If we're looking for the head honcho of all B-rated horror-type characters, look no further than Chthon. He created or spawned many. He gave birth to several elder spawn, elder races such as the Nagari, the Ape Men, the Ape Lords, the Man Bats, the Harpies, the Goblins, and the most infamous success, the Wolfmen, Hellhounds, Lycans, Wolf Demons, and he also created the quote, first who crawled out of the mud to worship the Great Old Ones, also the Night Knots. There are some arguments, however, whether or not these other characters are belonging to him and they're his creations. However, they are suggested that they are. Darkhold Dwarfs, Dragoness, Midwife, Monstrosity, Whisperer, and the Wish Demon could all possibly be his pawns or spawns 
or even simply magical creations. At one point, the High Evolutionary built his citadel on top of Mount Wundagor and unknowingly came under Chathon's watch. His associate, Jonathan Drew, was possessed by the spirit of the Magnus and one of Morgan Le Fay's old disciples, but warned against the threat of Chathon. After evolving his new men from animals, the High Evolutionary trained them with a code of honor like the Knights of Old, thus preparing them to face Chathon should he ever happen to rise again. Before he left this world, however, Chathon reached out to an infant girl being born on Wundagore that night, thus marking her as a potential vessel for his future revival. That girl would be called Wanda, yes, the Wanda Maximoff. At that point, she was not named Maximoff yet. Later on, a character named Madrid finally succumbs to Chathon's influence, and he captures the Scarlet Witch and performs the ritual allowing Chathon to use her as a vessel on Earth. Wanda, as Chathon, opposed the Avengers when they arrived to help her and imprisoned them in a mystical circle that would summon Chathon fully to Earth. However, the Beast arrived, dressed as one of Chathon's old nemeses from the Knights of Wundagor to distract him, and seized the Darkhold before the ritual was complete. However, Chathon had several plans working at once to ensure his rebirth. As a priest who was sterile, felt pressure to continue his family line, so he gave in to temptation and used the Darkhold to impregnate his wife. In the Dark Rain Saga, Chathon resurfaced and killed the new men at Mount Wundagor, with no Doctor Strange to counter this new threat. Knowing about Chathon's activities and how they might have to combat him, Loki, disguised as the Scarlet Witch, helped to reform the mighty Avengers to combat him. However, Modred successfully summoned Chathon into the body of Quicksilver, claiming that this reality would fall before him in a blink of an eye. At one point in the comics, Carnage was able to awaken Chathon who manifested as a blue-skinned eldritch monster and began devouring the broodlings that were all present there. The empowered serial killer, Carnage, believed that he was the subject of a prophecy in the Darkhold that says, quote, When the Red Slayer spills blood on the sacred stone, he who sleeps shall wake, and what once walked will walk again. And because of this, Carnage was able to summon Chathon. However, just like any genie-in-the-bottle horror flick, when Carnage demanded to be rewarded, Chathon casually swatted him aside and began summoning the other evil gods. In the Secret Empire event, when Hydra takes over America, Chathon possessed Scarlet Witch again. However, she was eventually freed from Chathon's possession by Doctor Strange. After Doctor Doom uncovered the original Darkhold, the true Darkhold, a path opened between Earth and the other realm. With this, Chathon could enter Earth in his complete form. Chathon taunted Wanda Maximoff by showing her a vision of his invasion. Wanda and Doom traveled to the other realm, empowered by the true Darkhold, to defeat Chathon. Wanda backstabbed Doom and took the true Darkhold for herself. She fused with the true Darkhold, which granted her the power to defeat Chathon and absorb the Elder God entirely. Although he was sealed and his power was now hers, Wanda warned her allies that he would return if she should die. Here we are with the powers and abilities of said character. He has the physiology of an elder god. Being that he is one of the most powerful elder gods of Earth who actually degenerated into a demonic state, he has the vast ability to manipulate magical energies for nearly any effect he wishes. He can manifest himself in humanoid form, but also can take various forms, or just his true form, if he even has one. This is a being that is the magic master of dark and chaos. Chathon is a being of unimaginable mystic power, specifically that of which that can be called black magic and or chaos magic. This magic can manipulate, warp, and reconstruct the very fabric of existence and reality to the user's very wishes and bring about total destruction to all of the cosmos. To put it in perspective how powerful he is, the dimension that he created for himself, he controls every aspect of that reality. He also has telepathic powers. This ability enables him to read, control, and communicate with the minds of anyone even across 
dimensional barriers. Just like the Juggernaut situation, he has the ability to send power out of that dimension when invoked to do so by a spellcaster. However, the person who wields that power, normally his soul is forfeit to that Elder God. However, he can only operate on Earth through his elemental hosts, usually the Other. Now the Other is normally summoned when someone uses the Darkhold, and the Other can manifest itself at any appearance that it wants, but the actions of the Earthly Sphere are generally limited by the demands of the user of the Darkhold. He can perform demonic possession on any type of host that he prefers. If the proper rituals are performed, Tathan can take over that host body on Earth, but he cannot easily transfer all of his totality because even a fraction of it can be too much for the form to contain. Now, he is not without his weaknesses, however. Without the Darkhold, Chathon is unable to move freely through dimensions and is pretty much trapped in his own dimension because it would take an enormous mystical rift to convey the immense mystical power of that Elder God. It is also a problem because Gaia has erected magical screens over the millennia by hundreds of human sorcerers, which also prevent him from traveling to Earth unless he undertakes highly elaborate preparations to do so. He has a dependency on a living vessel. In the comic books it's shown during several of Chathon's summonings on Earth, though the occupation of a human would enable Chathon to share the human's abilities, he would also be left more vulnerable in both mind and body. If that host, physical mind or body or processes were somehow disrupted, even through a non-mystical means, Tathan would be temporarily deprived of spell casting altogether. Anyway, this ends our discussion on the Darkhold as well as the creator of the Darkhold. Like, share, and subscribe because we really do appreciate that. Don't forget to hit the comments down below. It's review with you, and as always, we just want to make videos for you. Excelsior, see ya.